Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your morning coffee, yeah? Thank you so much for tuning in, it's very, very happy to connect with you guys today. I hope everyone had a good day yesterday and I hope everyone has a great day today. Um, it's, as many of us know, uh, last weekend was really purgy and we've been kind of rolling through it ever since. Um, yesterday things, I, things got a little better, you know, healing started to happen. The purge came to a little bit of a, a slowdown. Um, someone did mention in the comments that, you know, purgy energies are probably going to be back around the 18th or 19th, which would be today. So <laughs> let's see, let's see what we've got. Yeah. So. Let's get into this, guys. Mmm, coffee. <laughs> okay, here we go, everyone. <sighs> Hi, Spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please bring us the best messages for today, the day of Thursday, October 18th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. This is not sign specific. Also, this is not specific to like love or career or anything. This is just the general energies for the day, okay? All right, already I'm seeing yellow. Um, I feel like there's a lot of clarity. Um, there's probably a lot, uh, there's a lot of clear space for movement. Like I'm seeing energy that's re uh, resonant with uh, like the Eight of Wands, if you're familiar with the Tarot. The Eight of Wands is about communication. It's all about, also about swift movement. Um, it's about direct movement to a pinpointed target that you know you're ready to go to. You're taking decisive action. Okay, decisiveness is actually a good word to put um, to the energies that I'm feeling right now. Uh, yellow is about the solar plexus, so that can also talk about your willpower. Also, keep in mind that just because these messages are coming through today for this day, it does not necessarily mean that they will resonate today. It might resonate later. It may not resonate at all. If it doesn't resonate at all, just come back check again later or check it out tomorrow maybe it will resonate yeah okay one more shuffle excellent all right guys let's see what we've got for the day okay okay we've got queen of pentacles four of pentacles okay all right okay Let's see what we've got so far, guys. Underneath the deck, we've got justice. All right. So there is a bit of justice that's coming through here. Um, we've got the Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles so far. Um, there is an energy of holding on, okay? Um, what we're holding on to, I'm not sure. This doesn't feel like it's too bad. Um, I feel like there's definitely an energy of someone standing their ground. That's definitely something. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm going to take these up right here. So, judgment is here again. Okay, so we're definitely moving through a lot of these uh, same energies here. Um, there's definitely an energy of self-mastery, that's for sure. Um, especially with the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles here. But here's the Three of Pentacles. To me, this is very much about self-mastery. Um, someone is really standing their ground. Someone is really holding their own. Um, and is probably doing a lot of work behind the scenes because we have uh, the moon here. And so the moon talks about concealment. Um, it also talks about secrets and intuition. Um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, guys. And, and I'm not really sure that's not really a bad thing, okay? Underneath the deck, we have justice. Um, so justice is 
being brought into somebody's life. So especially with like the Queen of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, I just feel like this is for, this is mainly for the viewer, okay? The, the viewers right now. This is not necessarily anyone else that you're like trying to deal with. Please excuse the manicure. I need to do my nails again. But um, this is, for the most part, this is you, okay? This is the viewer. This is someone standing their ground. Um, I know Four of Pentacles here says greed in this deck. Um, however, that's not necessarily really what I'm feeling here. What I'm feeling is that... Someone is just keeping keeping themselves, their possessions close, okay? This is an energy of, um, again, I heard concealment, uh, and that's what that's what's coming through with the moon here. I, I really feel like somebody is really protecting themselves, protecting their own, protecting their, their families, their investments, their material aspects. Um, there's definitely an energy of wanting to save, like saving money, being smart about your money, um, and the Queen of Pentacles, to me, is someone that is very nurturing, very loving, very family-oriented. Someone that's going to do what they need to do to maintain the home, maintain the space for the family, okay? Um, you really could be preparing to be, to enter into some sort of commitment in that way. Um, you could really want some sort of commitment in that way, especially with judgment here, okay? Um, judgment and the Three of Pentacles to me is saying that someone is really, or some of you are really just trying to master yourselves, work on yourselves, um, and prepare for a commitment, a strong commitment. Um, and with the moon here, you know, this is, uh, to me, this is um, doing things within the darkness, but it's doing things without really knowing um you know what's coming um and that's usually the energy of the star but here this is almost like you know there is this is kind of a dark period um in, in, in love especially i mean if you're looking for love this is kind of a dark period right now because of the venus retrograde um but everything i'm hearing everything is happening below the surface um okay so there's really a, there's really an energy of bringing justice into your life especially since you know we've got got justice here okay so justice is coming into your life whether you really see it really realize it know it or not okay um i want to get some clarifiers for this so uh give me just a second here guys i'm gonna break out another one let's just use this one for now okay so i do want to clarify a little bit here So, in case anybody was wondering, um, this deck is the Beautiful Creatures deck. Um, and now for clarification, I am using the Tarot Illuminati. Okay, Wednesday, oh, sorry, Thursday, October 18. Let's just get some clarification here. I'm going to start with the moon. What is this moon energy here? All right, Spirit. What's, uh, please clarify the moon, please. What is the moon here? The moon. Thursday. Ooh, that's a lot. But it's okay. I'm gonna take it. Okay, see, that's very interesting. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords, the Star, the Fool, and the King of Wands. All right, so... And it's interesting because I was talking about, oh boy, okay, um, and then underneath the deck is temperance, all right, so with the moon here, I was talking about earlier that this is kind of like the energy of the star, and that's what I was getting, the star, um, and here's the star. So the star is about, you know, faith, hope, and actually the star came out yesterday, 
Yes, because this is card number 17, and I noticed yesterday that the center of the reading was the star, and that's card number 17. I didn't realize it until after I finished <laughs> the video, and I was already posting it. But anyway, um, I'm kind of hearing a little bit of blind faith, but here in this, and it's especially with the Fool, okay? But in this sense, this is kind of, this is a little healthier than, than the average blind faith situation. Why? Because we have judgment here and uh, the Three of Pentacles. So someone is taking the opportunity to master themselves, to work on themselves even more because they are answering the call of the universe. Now, they have an idea, now you may have an idea of what it is you want in life, especially with this Ten of Swords, okay? You've been through a lot of contrast. You've been through a lot of uh, instances in which you're, you dealt with situations that were not ideal for you. But in these cases, you've dealt with this um, in order to understand the contrast of the situation, in order to understand what it was, what it is you did not want, okay? To stop manifesting that, in essence. 11-11 on the counter, woo! Um, but with the star and the fool here, and also with the king of wands, okay? Now, the king of wands, I'm getting a few different things. One, um, someone is manifesting this. Someone is manifesting a king of wands. Um, someone is, and this could be male or female. This is just the, the type of energy, okay? The king of wands is someone who is direct, sure of themselves, knows exactly what they want, and they go for it, all right? You could be holding this energy with the King of Wands because you are working towards what it is you truly desire. You also could be um, manifesting someone like that into your life, okay? And that's all through contrast. And then underneath the deck, you have Temperance. So this talks about patience, okay? This is divine timing. And it's funny because I did a pre-shuffle and, and Temperance popped out. Temperance popped out with the Ace of Wands and I think Justice. And there, here we have justice on the bottom of the deck here, okay? Okay, so I'm going to actually take the temperance and put it there. Oh, yeah, look, and then underneath the deck is the Six of Cups. So some of you really could be um, manifesting a soulmate. Some of you could be, um, in this moon energy, be kind of reminiscent, um, kind of uh, nostalgic. Um, but if you are in that, in like reminiscent nostalgic energy here with the Six of Cups, I really feel like that's because um, you're using that to help guide you towards... Uh, your manifestations. You're using that to, to align your uh, your vibration with what it is you truly want because that nostalgia that you're feeling is something that you kind of want to create, recreate in your life, okay? All right, so the next, the other thing, actually the last thing I really want to clarify is the Four of Pentacles here. Please clarify the Four of Pentacles for us. What are we holding on to? What is this? Woo! Oh boy. All right. So we've got the Page of Swords. It's interesting. Um... Clarifying the four of pentacles, please. Well, also, what's this page of swords? Ooh, look at this. Okay, the queen, <laughs> the queen of swords and uh, the six of pentacles here. And this is all on the four of pentacles. And, ooh, boy, underneath the deck, we've got the king of cups. All right. So... <laughs> I, I'm I'm getting an energy of there's someone there could be someone out there that's really holding on to you someone that's very much in love with you um, could be also this could be you um, this is take, keep in mind this is a general reading okay but for the most part. I really feel like this is the, from the point of view of the viewer, okay? Um, yeah, I'm definitely channeling for the viewer right now. Well, this isn't sign specific. I, I'm channeling for the viewer that's like, this, this is like, you know, someone that is keeping up with morning coffee or someone just like a subscriber of mine that I usually channel for or whatever. This is... I, I'm, either way, I mean, it's a general it's a general reading, so take what resonates and leave, and leave what doesn't. I just feel like the strongest energy here is for a regular viewer, okay? Um, someone sees you as a queen of pentacles, like wifey material, okay? Someone sees you as grounded, stable, um, 
nurturing, loving, you know, family oriented, someone they could potentially have a family with. Okay. Uh, but you are standing your ground here with the four of pentacles at the same time. They're kind of holding on to you. Why? Because of the King of Cups. They're very, they feel they feel something. <laughs> and they feel a lot of something for you, okay? Um, now, at the same time, this really could... I don't know why I was getting into that before. Because this really could go either way. Either someone else feels like this for you, or you feel this energy of yourself. And now you're kind of like... Again, you're either manifesting a King of Cups and a King of Wands, or you would have someone that you're aware of that um, you have deep feelings for. Now, yeah, okay, this really could go either way. Because with the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles, you could be standing your ground, holding on to your feelings, your emotions, not really sharing too much, not giving too much. Why? Because you want to learn. You want to observe this person. Now, you're most likely, you're most likely using this Venus retro in retrograde situation to gain more information about somebody, okay? Either you're gaining more information about somebody or they're working on gaining information on you, okay? Um, they're trying to understand how to approach you, maybe how you how you move, um, uh, you know, what your personality, your vibe, things kind of like that. Okay, this is investigatory. This is... So someone could be watching you. You could be watching someone else, okay? But this is all with, extra, with, with pretty strong discernment because we have the Queen of Swords here. So someone is really trying to investigate, trying to figure out, is this something that's worth giving to, okay? And then with the Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is this going to be balanced? Okay, because I really feel a lot of energy of someone has really been through the ringer here with the Queen of Swords and is very much like I am not willing to give to a situation without it being a balanced situation. Okay, now this could be you what using some well, using discernment when watching someone else to try and get some information and understand the situation better. Or this could be the other person, whoever is symbolized by this King of Cups, and I really do feel like it's the same. It's the same person as this King of Wands here. They 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 they're very much feeling like the same person. You could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or even a. Okay, we've got all the elements here: um, Earth, Fire, Air, and Water. So air signs would be Gemini, Libra. Uh, Aquarius, Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Specifically here, you do have Sagittarius and um, Aquarius with the Star and Temperance. Maybe even Pisces with the Fool. Um, maybe even Cancer with the Moon. Oh, the, the Moon is Pisces also, um, but Cancer is ruled by the Moon. Um, where was I going? Oh, so um, with the King of Cups here, so so you could either be watching someone else trying to with discernment, trying to understand if they could be the right fit, um, and really using the Venus and retrograde energies to really feel it out and see. And actually, with the Queen of Swords, you really could be discerning what it is you truly want. Like, is this is this something I want? Um, at the same time, this other person could see you as the Queen of Swords and could be watching you knowing that you're very much not f not for the drama, not for the bullshit. Um, you're not going to, knowing that you're not going to take crumbs, trying to understand what it is that they would need to give to you in order for you to accept some sort of offer. They know, very much so, they know with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, they know that you're not going to give to a situation that isn't balanced. Um, they're probably very well aware that you've been in situations in the past where they just has not been balanced and you've gotten burned, which would be why you have this Queen of Swords sword status. Maybe you're a divorcee. Maybe you just, you're coming out of a long-term relationship that just ended badly. Um, but either way, justice is coming into your life here. And I, I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and say it, especially with judgment that's been coming out all week. Um, this is the third time it's come out all week here. Judgment, okay? Um, this has everything to do with the purgy energies that we've been dealing with. Why? Because you've been clearing away a lot of the cobwebs, I'm hearing. Um, and you're getting to the point where you're ready to go. 
you know, justice is about to be served in your life in the very near future. Um, and I'm going to, I'm really going to say that this is probably going to take hold. This is probably really going to be the most effective around when Venus goes out of retrograde. Now, Venus is going to be in shadow period. Um, I've been told, someone left in the comments yesterday that Venus is going into, sh will still be in shadow period until the 17th of December. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, but I can already sense that it's still going to be slow going, okay, through that shadow period. But that's okay, because I'm already feeling like, especially with temperance here, um, everything is becoming balanced, everything is, in, is happening within divine timing. Um, and I feel like the shadow period is going to be a, a more of a period where things are going to pick up a little more, um, you're going to feel... You're going to be able to, you know, connect a little deeper with this person, with this individual. Um, but, you know, it'll be a period of being able to take it slow so that you guys can really get a chance to know each other. If you really are connecting with, like, a soulmate or something, especially since the Six of Cups was underneath the deck before I did that second pull. But all in all, you have right now is an energy, is a time for really working on that self-mastery, Okay. Healing also, especially with the star here, okay? The healing is happening. And there is a brand new star coming with the fool. We just have to be patient, okay? And let divine timing do its thing, all right? Cool. So, let's get into the oracle card here. So we're going to get your crystal mandala oracle for the day. Justice is coming, guys. All right, one more shuffle. All right. Here we go. Best message for the collective for Thursday, October 18th, 2018. Thursday, October 18th, 2018. There we go. Re-evaluate. Oh, revelation. Excuse me. I was going to say re-evaluation, but it's actually revelation. Card number six. This is a gorgeous card. Uh, Angel Amitiel, Amitiel and Blue Obsidian. Revelation. And I, I've been using this deck for a very long time now, um, actually since I start, started this channel, and this card has never come out. This is excellent. And this card has never come out in a reading before, and it's so gorgeous. Oh my god. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, here we go. We bring you the gift of revelation. There are times when not knowing is helpful. The, oh, I'm just, I gotta stop right there. The moon. The moon, guys. The moon. <laughs> With the star. <laughs> oh my god. That's so perfect. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting all excited. I just love it when things line up like that. You know, it's just, can't make it up, guys. Cannot make it up. Sorry. Wait. Hold on. <sighs> oh, goodness. The inner Virgo in me is like, oh my god, make everything straight, please. Perfect. Perfection, please. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Um, there are times when not knowing is helpful. During such times, you develop unconditional trust in the universe. You see, I told you, blind faith, but this is a good thing, okay? This is not, this is not foolish. This is actually, even though the fool came out, it's not foolish. It's actually a really good thing. That trust will then support you in living your life according to your personal truths. You need a lot of trust in yourself and in life to live with such courage. Not knowing the bigger picture can help you stay focused on what you need to do right now. Self-mastery. Three of pentacles. Good lord. Right now, rather than getting so excited about the future, you become distracted from the work that needs to be accomplished in the present moment, unwittingly slowing down your progress and delaying the very future you want to draw closer to you. 
However, there are other times when it is more helpful to know, to understand, to see. A, a particular truth will help you gain perspective, let go of the past, heal a wound, and feel safer, feel more loved, more empowered, and ready for the next step on your life journey. This is one of those times. We bring you the helpful gift of revelation now because you are ready to know a deeper truth. Whoa, guys, whoa. Give me just a second. I want to see if there's anything else that's, uh, that's really trying to jump out here at us. Okay. I do. Please excuse the, excuse the sniffles. I do want to read this part. There is an expression that says, when it no longer serves you not to know, you shall know. For the spiritual aspirant who believes their path would be much easier if they only knew what was going on in their lives and why things were happening the way they are, this might seem questionable. Yet, there are benefits and empowerments that happen for us when we are in a, quote, not knowing phase of our life journey, laboring through darkness and confusion, and not really sure what we are doing or supposed to be learning. During such times, there is a possibility to develop spiritual strength by learning to trust unconditionally in life. This unconditional trust then helps us to then helps us have the courage to act on insights and revelations when they come. As much as we might feel we are, quote, always ready to know what is going on, that isn't actually the case. There are times when seeing the divine purpose behind what is happening and realizing exactly what we are letting go of and what we are growing into would into imitate or frighten, I'm sorry, would intimidate or frighten us. It might also seem we it might also seem so grand and overwhelming that we shut down and resist the process because our minds don't understand what seems difficult or impossible now can seem I'm sorry, because our minds don't understand that what seems difficult or impossible now can seem utterly natural and comfortable several years or even several months from now. Or maybe a revelation of a glorious future would be so exciting that we could not stay present enough to do what needs to be done to actually allow it to happen. In time with growth and development, those things could happen quite naturally and even more easily when there is no fear created by the mind wondering, what if I fail? I don't think I can do that. It might cause resistance, self-doubt, and hesitation. All because the truth of what was coming was accessed prematurely. My goodness, that's a beautiful message. Beautiful, beautiful message, guys. I mean, it really ties into everything that I was talking about. Using this time of self-mastery, even though you don't really know what's coming to you, justice is being served in your life, okay? I mean, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now I would like to close the reading with our Whispers of Love Oracle because it is still Venus retrograde. You guys, I wish you could see the sky right now. It is so gorgeous. The sun is rising. It's this beautiful light blue. The clouds have this like orange golden glow to them. I mean, it's like picture perfect. It's kind of surreal. Kind of surreal, but also quite gorgeous. Okay, Thursday. October 18th. Best messages, please, Spirit, from the Whispers of Love for the day of Thursday, October 18th, 2018. Thursday, October 18th. Thursday, October 18th. Just going to drop in the drop top of the pile here. Aha, okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So we have card number 12, 32, excuse me, card number 32. Look to your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength, inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And this is absolutely where the self-mastery comes into play with the Three of Pentacles here, okay? Um, this is definitely a moment to understand 
your patterns. Understand that this contrast that you went through with the Ten of Swords here that you got into, the ending of this cycle, the worst is behind you, okay? And now you have the opportunity to look back on that cycle, on that situation, on those situations, if it's multiple instances of this, and really understand the underlying patterns. What led you to this ultimate destruction <laughs> this ultimate destruction here with the Ten of Swords. I mean, I'm, it's not like it's really anything to make, to, to laugh at, but I was just trying to make light of the situation because ultimately, even though it was that ultimate destruction, you're still here, okay? So you're still, you're still kicking. So obviously it wasn't all, it wasn't the end of you, right? So good. So use that time to really, use this time to really understand what it is that got you there, How, what it is that cre helped create that situation. What was your involvement in the situation? How could you have done better in the situation? And then apply that to whatever you're manifesting here, whatever is coming forward, whatever justice is being served for you, whatever judgment or opportunity, rebirth is coming to you, okay? There could be reconciliation, but I don't really see reconciliation here. I'm seeing um, rebirth and a brand new cycle um, on its way, is what I just heard, because you're being called to it, okay? Excellent, guys. We're making progress. Yay! We're moving forward, everybody. I love it. All right, well... There it is. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me for this cup of morning coffee. Uh, much love to you all. I hope this resonated with you. Um, I am available for private readings. If you would like to book a private reading for me, with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Much, much love to you all. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow. Yeah? Much love. Have a great day, everybody. Mwah. Bye.